Hello, this is Rebecca Shadid, and I'll be presenting Introduction to Telecommunications for People with Complex Communication Needs as part of the Everyone Connects project run by the Independent Living Centre New South Wales and funded by the Telstra Foundation. So what is telecommunications? It's the technology to help you communicate over a distance, for example, talk on the phone, send text messages, or make video calls. It includes the use of social media, sending and receiving emails. This is some social media trivia. 96% of Gen Y have joined a social network. If Facebook was a country, it would be the world's fourth largest. YouTube is the second largest search engine, where 100 hours of video are uploaded every minute. Over 100 million tweets are sent a day. This is Generation Y. The student is telling the teacher there aren't any icons on to click. It's a chalkboard. The father is asking his daughter, Hi, sweetie, how was school today? And the daughter replies, you can read all about it on my blog, Dad. And in this cartoon, one person is saying to his friend, and this app shows what's right in front of me. We'll start with the most common telecommunication method, and that is traditional landline telephones. For some people, a traditional phone might be more suitable. You can also find specialized phones, such as the EasyCall phones, on display at the ILC. You can visit us at the ILC to find out more. Another popular telecommunication method is the mobile phone, which has developed over the years from a basic mobile phone for calls and text messaging to smartphones with more functions such as emailing, photo sharing, instant messaging, social media, or video conferencing. Tablets are another medium that could be used for telecommunications if used for calls, photo sharing, emailing, instant messaging, social media, or video conferencing. Speech generating devices are also very much a part of telecommunication. Many of them function similar to a tablet, allowing you to connect to the internet, access social media, send emails, etc. Some also have slots for SIM cards, making it possible to make calls or send messages through these devices. Speech generating devices like the LightWriter SL4, Connect and Telus4 have a slot for a SIM card. Devices like the Dynavox, Telus and Accent have cameras up the top so you can also make video calls. These are some of the terms that you might have heard recently. First, an app is an application or application program or software program that runs on your computer or tablet, web browsers, email programs, word processors, games and utilities are all applications. The word application is used because each program has a specific application for the user. You can choose which applications you want to install and run on your computer or tablet or smartphone. The second term is platform, which refers to a computer's operating system. For example, an iPad runs on the iOS platform. The term platform is often used when referring to what kind of computer systems a certain software program will run on. Currently, we have three operating systems or platforms, Apple, Windows, and Android. Social media is another popular term. It's a collection of internet-based communities that allow users to interact with each other online. These include web forums, wikis, and user-generated content websites. However, the term is most often used to describe popular social networking websites, which include the following, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. It has since been fueled by the growing use of mobile devices, such as tablets and smartphones, which are commonly used to access social media services. And in this cartoon, we see a patient telling his doctor, My heart is twittering, my stomach feels bloggish, and I make a googling sound when I breathe. So the doctor recommended, stay off the internet and come back in a week. Telecommunications for people with complex communication needs. 
Research found that internet use helps with loneliness. People with complex communication needs are excited and happy to use the internet and social media. They feel their lives are made better and they feel sad if they wouldn't have access to it. It also helped them gain independence to organize meetings, plan trips, run a business, etc. Facebook helped express their personality and humor through photos of events and activities. Also, social networking allowed them to keep in contact with people, especially those in different countries. Thank you very much for listening.